What's up guys, I'm Salty Mike, and my friends and I decided to do a little testing on the PTU with the new cargo refactor, specifically the logistics of moving cargo to and from very large ships. We started out by filling a C2 with scrap to see the process of soft death that we first heard about on an AMA on the cargo refactor a few months back. I don't know the exact numbers, but there are now two thresholds of damage for ships. When a ship takes, let's say 90% damage, it will create an explosion and end up in a soft death state. When ships are in that state, the gravity and power on the ship is off and the cargo will remain on the grid as if it was brand new, but the doors are fully interactable so you can move through the ship. We then decided to get the front of the C2 that we were loading into really close and started loading. We thought that 50 boxes or so was a good baseline to fill to determine the speed for this process. For those of you who are seeing the refactor for the first time, all commodity boxes that are one SCU in size are physical, interactable, and snap to any cargo grid in a ship. This really opens up the game for more realistic trade and crafting in the future. This process went really smoothly and we managed to fill 50 boxes quite quickly. We then thought that finishing off the ship and blowing it up was a good idea to see if it would be any harder to fill, but it seemed also quite easy and we filled in an additional 50 boxes in about 10 minutes. Personally, I thought this wouldn't have gone well, but if you get your ship nice and close, the very large cargo hold of the C2 was really easy to work with. And before we started, I had a hypothesis that if we had a bunch of small ships moving cargo out of the C2, it would go even faster. So then we tried that. We grabbed a variety of smaller cargo ships from the hull A up to the Freelancer Max and went through the same soft death process and started filling. And man, this experience was completely different. The cargo grids were much smaller and harder to work with, as most of them were legacy ships, and we had all sorts of bugs. All in all, we ended up with around 200 boxes in total between all the ships, but the process was so much more clunky and took way more time. What happened here? Which one broke? One of the slots broke. Well, we might have just 45 SCU. Is this being weird? This is a new one. I didn't expect this at all. In most other situations in Star Citizen, working together in a single ship is usually less efficient and makes less sense, but this was really effective. Not only that, but when we went to sell, there were a number of bugs related to this as well. We weren't able to sell from some ships, others didn't even show up on the terminal, all sorts of problems. If you store and unstore a ship, it seems to fix those issues a little bit, Having all the cargo in one ship, while more risky to be pirated, really could reduce a lot of those problems right now. And that's just a little highlight on the cargo refactor and some of the things that I learned in the 3.18 PTU. If you guys haven't yet, stop by my Twitch stream and check out some of these tests and looks into the Star Citizen 3.18 features that we've been doing throughout the last week or so. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.